Hello po mga kababayan, A.B. Joy Kitu po, Licensed Canadian Immigration Consultant. Ang video po na to ay tungkol sa Home Child Care Provider Pilot and Elderly Home Support Worker Pilot Permanent Residence Program. I-extend ko po sa video na to kung ano ang Home Child Care Provider Pilot and Home Support Worker Pilot Permanent Residence Program at ang proseso ng programa na to. Ang Permanent Immigration Program po na ito ay para sa mga Home Child Care Provider under NOC 4411 and Home Support Worker under NOC 4412. Mamaya po, ipapaliwanag ko po kung ano po yung mga job titles na under ng mga NOC na ito. This is a 5 years pilot program na kapalit ng Lead-in Caregiver Program sa Canada. Ito po ay direct permanent residence application and work permit application at the same time. While on process po ang application for permanent residence, pwede po kayo magtrabaho sa employer nyo. Kung kayo naman po ay may asawa at mga anak, po pwede niyo pong isabay ang open work permit application ng spouse nyo at yung temporary residence ng mga anak nyo para makasama niyo po sila dito sa Canada. Ano naman po ang kriteriya ng programa na ito para mag-qualify ang isang aplikante? Kailangan po ng valid job offer from a Canadian employer, either home child care po or home support provider. Importante po na may job offer po kayo dito sa Canada at yung employer niyo po ay dapat mamit din po yung mga qualifications to be an employer. Ability to work either past work experience or education or training po. Dapat po may work experience po kayo na nag-alaga po kayo ng bata or elderly. Kung wala naman po kayong work experience na related dito, dapat po ay may education or training po kayo na related sa child care or elderly care. Provide language test, minimum score of CLB-5. Ito po yung either IELTS General Training or CELPIP General. Upon submission po ng application nyo, dapat may valid language test na po kayo. Ang kailangan pong score ay minimum score of CLB-5 in each category. Hindi po yung band score ha, kailangan po in each category. Keep in mind po na ang language test ay valid lang po siya ng 2 years after you took the test. Post secondary education of at least one year in Canada. Ito po yung Education Credential Assessment or yung ECA. Ang ECA po ay yung equivalent ng education yu po dito sa Canada. May mga designated institution po na nakaprovide ng ECA. Mama yapo bago matapos ang vision na to. Ipapakita ko po kung saan kayo po pwede magapply ng ECA. Must be admissible to Canada. Health and Criminal Admissibility. Ito po yung medical test and criminal background check or yung police clearance for each country you live for more than 6 months since the age of 18. Plan to live outside Quebec as a permanent resident. Ang program po kasi na ito ay hindi po included ang Quebec province. So yung employer nyo po na magsusupport ng application nyo dapat nakatira po sila outside Quebec. Ano naman po ang process ng programa na to? Applicants outside Canada o yung mga aplikante na wala pa po dito sa Canada at wala pang work experience na related sa home child care provider or home support worker dito sa loob ng Canada. Find an employer who is willing to support your application. Pumanap po kayo ng mga employer na willing mag-support ng application nyo. Kung wala po kayong market ng employer, baka po po pwede namin kayong ma-assist na makakita ng employer through our network of partners. So, contactin nyo lang po kami, baka ma-assist po namin kayo na makahanap ng employer nyo. Prepare the required documents. Ihanda nyo na po yung mga required documents nyo na maaga, especially yung IELTS at po yung ECA. May mga employers po kasi gusto nila ready na po yung mga documents bago po sila pumayag na isupport yung application nyo. To make sure po na eligible po kayo sa program, 
at saka hindi po mahaba yung waiting period. Submission of application for permanent residence, including the work permit and government fees. Once po na makomplete na po ang mga documents nyo, including yung government forms, po pwede nyo na pong i-apply ang permanent residence application sa program na ito along with your spouse and children if may family po kayo. And at the same time, po pwede nyo rin pong i-apply ang work permit nyo and open work permit ng spouse nyo. If na-meet nyo po ang eligibility ng program, una nyo po muna matatanggap ang work permit nyo para makapagtrabaho po kayo agad sa employer nyo dito sa Canada. Land in Canada under the work permit Once po na ma-receive nyo na ang work permit nyo, pwede na po kayo magpunta sa Canada at magsimula magtrabaho sa employer nyo. Once na mag-land na po kayo sa Canada, you have to work for 24 months. Dapat po, makomplete nyo ang 24 months na work experience nyo as a home child care provider or home support worker. Once you have completed your 24 months of work experience dito sa Canada, you have to submit it sa IRCC. After that, you will receive your permanent residence. Once po na ma-receive ng IRCC, ang proof of work experience nyo, Mare-receive nyo na po ang permanent residence nyo. Ito na po yung end ng application nyo. IRCC will conclude your application under this immigration program. 12 months po ang processing time ng program na to as per IRCC. Applicants inside Canada Sa mga aplikante po from inside Canada, especially yung mga nasa Quebec province, ganun din po ang requirements and process. Ang advantage po ng applicants na andito sa Canada, yung work experience nyo po as a home child care provider or home support worker ay counted po for 24 months work experience requirements. So kung meron na po kayo 24 months work experience, hindi nyo na po kailangan ng Canadian employer to support your application. So, mapapadali po ang pag-receive nyo ng permanent residence kasi hindi na po kayo maghihintay ang 24 months for the work experience requirements. Question, magkano po ang government fees? So, meron po tayong tinatawag na principal applicant, spouse, and then yung po dependent child. Makikita niyo po sa list na to kung magkano po ang babayaran ng principal applicant, spouse, and children if applicable. Question, Pwede po ba na ang principal applicant muna ang maunang magpunta sa Canada para mag-work? Susunod na lang po ang family if approved na po ang permanent resident application. Answer po is yes, pwede po. Question, dito po ako sa Quebec nagwa-work. Counted po ba ang work experience ko as a child care provider or elderly care dito sa Quebec? Ang sagot po is yes, counted po yan, i-acknowledge po yan ng IRCC, basta mag-provide lang po kayo ng ROE or Record of Employment and Certificate of Employment from your employer. Question, may 24 months na po ang work experience ko dito sa Canada as a child care provider or elderly care provider. Kailangan ko pa po ba ng job offer from a Canadian employer? Ang sagot po niyan, as per IRCC regulation po, hindi na po kailangan ng job offer from a Canadian employer if may 24 months work experience na po kayo dito sa Canada, including po ang Quebec province work experience. Question, ano po ang mga required documents for this program? May mga required documents po and government forms. Ito po ang list ng mga required documents. Offer employment from a Canadian employer, copy of your passport photo page, birth certificate and marriage certificate if applicable, language test result, education credential assessment report, proof of ability to work or education and training, police clearance, photo, government fees, and proof of work in Canada if meron na po kayo. Question, saan po po pwede na magpa-schedule ng language test? Answer, 
Pupunta lang po kayo sa www.ilts.org or www.selfhip.com and just choose the nearest test center in your area and you can choose the date whenever you are ready to take the exam. Ano po ang Education Credential Assessment or ECA at saan po ako po pwede magpa-assess? Ang ECA po ay ang equivalent ng education nyo dito sa Canada. May ilan lang po mga designated institution na pwedeng mag-assess ng education nyo. Ito po ang list. Ito naman po ang mga job title na nasa NOC 4411. Babysitter, Babysitter Fitness Center, Child Care Provider Private Home, Living Caregiver Child Care, Nanny, and Parents Helper. Ito naman po ang mga job title for NOC 4412. Attendant for Person with Disabilities Home Care, Family Caregiver, Home Support Worker, Live-in caregiver seniors, personal aid home support, personal care attendant home care, and respite worker home support. I'm sure marami pa po kayong mga katanungan tungkol sa programa na to na hindi ko po nabanggit sa video na to. Please feel free to contact us po. Ang email po namin is caregiver at imicanada.com Ang phone number po namin is 1-514-554-5212 and 1-514-574-2480. Ang website po namin is www.imicanada.com. May Facebook page din po kami na po pwede niyong isearch at Imic Canada. That's it for this video. Please stay safe and see you next time.